Did you know that you only need three animations to make a smooth modern website? Well, I recently developed this site in Framer using only three animations. And many designers and developers think that animation is hard, but Framer makes it really, really easy. So that's why in this video, I want to show you the three animations that I recommend for any basic website. Hey, my name is Finn. I'm a web designer and developer at antler.co. And on this channel, I teach you web design and development with real life projects. Now let's get started. There's really only about three animations that you need for any website. Slide up for major headings, scale in for images, and fade up for basically everything else. With these three animations, you can make any website look smooth and modern. Now make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving you a complete clonable of this website, which has all the same animations that I used in the client project. Let's get started with Slide Up. Slide Up is a really great animation for big headings. We can see here, if we just scroll through this clonable here, we've got that first one coming in. This one comes up in the middle of the image. And then finally, this one here comes in at the bottom. So this would work really well for some sort of hero or header section. Now in Framer, when we actually select the heading, we can come down here to a part called effects. Now, if we click on effect, we can actually see all the information about what this effect is doing. So we come down here onto trigger. We can see that when this element appears, we're gonna have an effect. What if it exactly? Well, the way it works in Framer is that you set an initial state for that effect. As you can see in my screen right now, you can see that this animation starts with the heading being rotated down here. So five degrees of rotation, but we're also moving the heading down 247 pixels in the offset. So that's how the animation is gonna start. So if we click on ease here, we can actually see that this curve here is how this animation is going to play out. We can see it runs for 1.25 seconds. We can see there's no delay, so it comes in instantly. And we can actually modify this Bezier curve to get a slightly different effect of how this animation would come in. To use this animation in your project, what you can do is select over here, the heading. You can see it's got the star on it. That's how we know that it's got an effect applied. We can actually go right click and then go down to copy and we can copy effects. This is such a cool thing about Framer because now we can paste effects into literally any element. I can come down here, for example, to this home hero image and I can go paste effects. Now I'm not sure how this will look, but if I preview the image now, you can see how it actually fades in as well. You can copy this and paste it across your entire site and it works with any animation I'm gonna show you today. To get the same effect that I've got here on this maximum heading, just make sure that your headings are wrapped inside a container with its overflow set to hidden. Now let's move on to image scale. Image scale is a really awesome animation for your images that is just super smooth. I'm gonna show you right here. So if we preview this website, we can see there, if I just refresh that again, it's just that little bit of fading in. Let's dive into how this animation works. We can go down here to the effect and we can see that on a pair, we're gonna have an effect. You can see that we have a scale applied of 1.1. If we go back to one, this is the normal size of the image. But if I go back up to 1.1, you can see how it created here this little, um, this border to show whether the scaled image starts. And this is how it works. This image starts bigger, but then it gets smaller to its normal size on the page load. That's how we get that scale in effect. All it is is an image starting 1.1 and then easing for 1.25 seconds on this curve here. Again, this is super easy to set up. You would just copy and paste this and apply it to any image. Now for this to work, it's really important that you remember one thing. Wrap your image in a frame that has its overflow set to hidden. You can see here that I've got home hero and then I've got the stack here with the overflow set to hidden. If I set this to visible, you'll see that you actually see the entire image coming in like this, which is not good. You actually want that to be hidden so that it gives you that smooth effect. The way we do that is the image is inside a wrapper with its overflow set to hidden. Now when we preview this, you can see it just contains itself in that same size box. We have one more animation to go, but just before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, it really helps me out. 
and helps me get this video out to more people. And hit subscribe if you wanna learn more about how to do web design and development. With that being said, let's look at the last animation for today, which is Fade Up. Now, Fade Up is a really cool animation because it can be used and applied to literally any element. You could even do an entire website just off Fade Up. All of the animations that you'll see right now as I'm scrolling, all these are Fade Up. So this is literally, I've applied this Fade Up animation to all these elements. All it does is it just fades the image in and moves it up. It's a great general purpose animation and I'm gonna show you how it works. We're here in our Framer project and what we can do is click on this image here. Now you can see that it fades up as we load the page. So you can see Home Hero has an effect applied to it. Let's go and check it out. So we can see our trigger here is layer in view and we've got a effect here. We want opacity to start at zero. This means that it's gonna start and fade in to 100% opacity. And we're gonna offset it by 50 pixels downwards. Like Framer does, you can see here, like when you see any offsets in Framer, it does have the outline to show you where that would be. We go into the ease here and we can see our curve and you can just click here to see what that would look like in the animation. So as we scroll through this page, we can see that every single element has this fade up applied to it. And it's just a really simple, really nice animation that you can apply throughout your website. Thank you so much for watching this video and staying to the end. Like I said, I have a gift for you, which is a remix link. This is like Framer's version of a clonable link from Webflow. Basically, you can go on the link and actually clone this project into your Framer workspace. And that way you can access all of these animations. You can just copy and paste them from my project and actually paste them into your one. That's what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.